All right, listen. There's a lot of YouTube channels out there that are gonna tell you how to get on TV and movies and film and commercials and all of these things, and that's really nice, but I'm noticing that none of them are actually telling you how to build a long-term sustainable action plan to stay in this career long enough to make anything happen. So that's what I'm gonna do. Today we're gonna go over the step-by-step -step process of how you can start to work towards and into your acting career in 2024. I have been doing this for almost 13 years now, and a lot of the stuff that was true when I started is no longer true. So we're gonna do an updated 2024 version, starting with this. This is a little dose of reality for you, okay? And I hate to be the person to tell you this, but talent does not always win. Being the best at this job does not guarantee you success. And I just fast forwarded about the first seven years of my career. So enjoy, take that morsel with you and don't use it as an excuse not to do this. Use it as fuel for why you should stay in this acting career for a long time in order for all of those things that line up beyond just talent to start to matter. So 2024, what should you do? Step one, grow where you are planted. This means all of you are somewhere right now watching this video. You might be already in a big city. You might be in a small town. You might live on a fishing boat. And if you do, congratulations on having really good Wi-Fi to stream YouTube. But wherever you are, you need to grow where you are planted. You need to start working towards this career now. Because if you keep telling yourself, I will do this when I move to LA, or I will do this when I move to Atlanta, or New York, or Chicago, it's not gonna work. Because some of you are watching this from LA, from New York, from Chicago, from Atlanta, and you have not yet started this career. So let's start wherever we are with the basics and grow where you are planted. Every single town, no matter where you are, yes, even you on the fishing boat, you have Wi-Fi, so you can do this, okay? Every single town has options for you to get involved in your acting career. And the number one most important thing is that you need to develop the craft of acting. Now I know, I just told you like five seconds ago at the top of this video, the talent doesn't always win. So why am I telling you to work on your talent. Well, boys and girls, regardless of what it does, it's the basis for this job. You need to be a good actor. It's the ground floor that we are building on. You are basically trying to enter the Olympics, and in order to do that, you need to be a really fucking good actor. Just like Olympic, Olymp, Olymp, Mm, just like Olympians need to be really good athletes, okay? So no matter where you are, you need to start the work. This means starting getting into an acting class. There are acting classes in every corner of this world, no matter where you're located. And there is a lot from big cities that are super reputable that you can now access online. So how do you find your first acting class? The most important thing to keep in mind is that this might not be your forever place. You just need to get started. You need to get going and you need to start working on this craft of acting. Sure, yes, you might find a place that's okay for now. That's okay, you have to start somewhere. And if you're like, Sam, but where, but what, what, how do I find an acting class? What are red flags? What are green flags? How do I do this? Don't worry, because this is the first in a series of videos I'm doing guiding you through this process and we do have an upcoming video about acting class. But right now, just start searching them out. The second thing to get started to grow where you are planted and to kick off your acting career in 2024 is to start finding out what shoots in your area. Now those of you who are in smaller markets, smaller towns across the US, it might just be local commercials. It might be some industrials, which are kind of just videos they use inside of companies to maybe train some one or talk about company values, that kind of stuff. Industrials are huge and they're filmed everywhere. Every market has a need for actors. It just might look a little bit different than what you're picturing. So you need to start finding out what shoots where. If you are near or in one of the big cities, this is gonna be a lot easier for you. You need to figure out what shoots in LA versus New York versus Atlanta. There are tons of different shows that are very specific to those markets. And yes, you're going to generalize a little bit, but it's good to know. And we will do an upcoming video about choosing your market. In fact, it's the video I'm filming right after this. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because it is gonna be a very dense video about picking your market and moving. But for right now, don't forget, you are growing where you are planted. 
And little caveat to that, if you figure out what shoots in your area, go watch it. Go find the commercials. You can search them on YouTube. Go look at the content that is shot in your area. If you're in the New Mexico, Arizona area, there is a very specific vibe to that content. Go search for it. I promise it is there. And you need to familiarize yourself with the styles of what shoots in your area because it's going to give you a huge leg up in the business once we get past this initial process. And the last step to grow where you are planted and start your acting career in 2024 is to start to find your actor community. Now this might be online, okay? But you're getting this advice through YouTube, which means you're an online kind of person, right? Try it. I swear to God, I run an online community called The Membership, which this is not an ad because we're not selling spots right now, but it is a place where actors can come together from all different markets across the world and ask questions and share information and talk about everything they need. And we offer like lots of classes and ongoing series and things like that. But that is what I mean by an actor community. You need people to talk to who are doing what you want to be doing. You need a place to ask questions and grow. You need mentors. You need examples that this job is possible. For some of you, that might be a local theater company. This might mean getting involved with your community drama programs. Even even if it feels a little antiquated, being somewhat in that system is going to give you a lot of information because I promise you the actors who are doing local community theater are also doing other types of acting. They are involved in local commercials. They also might have an agent in some capacity and or they're doing community theater because it fills their cup more than the job they used to have and they can tell you about the job they used to have. These are massive places for resource. So whether it's online or whether it's an admin group you find, you need to find your actor community because this job feels absolutely impossible if you have no examples and no place to go with your questions. We're not into the solo YOLO shit. I want you to have people to talk to and places to communicate and I don't know, uh, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Vent. You need to vent. You need to vent. Trust me, there are a couple actors I have on my speed dial when I'm having a day, like a day, like a and I just need to say, you know what sucks? And then I can dump it and then we can walk away from it and be done with it. That's a beautiful thing to have. You need to have that, especially as you get further in this career. You need to have a place where you can drop those things with people who understand what you're going through. And if you're in a small town, especially a smaller area, it's gonna be hard to find that community. So work on finding your online community, paid, free, whatever you can take. You need community to do this job. If you are someone who is watching this because you plan to relocate very, very soon, make sure you are subscribe because the next video that is coming out is going to be about picking your market and relocating. So keep an eye out for that because it's going to answer all of the questions you had that just came up with everything I just said. Trust me, I know you. I got you. Okay, so now that we've talked about growing where you are planted as the whole massive step one, step two, maybe you're thinking about moving. The next big area of focus for you to build a long-term plan of success for your acting career is to start to build your professional resources. And I'm gonna repeat myself here, but number one, once again, is your actor craft. So if you feel hesitant on that, if you're like, well, I don't really understand like moments before, like beats are weird to me, I'm not sure what relationship is, be in class. Those are places you need to go for class or have a coach. Find some place where you get active feedback and work with all these processes so you can continue to build that foundation. If you are already working on that aspect or you feel like you are in such a good place, you're ready to move on, I would say this is where we start thinking about headshots and resumes. Headshots are a whole vibe, you guys. We can, we can and will do a full video about headshots. And in fact, I am teaching a headshot class later this year in February. In the show notes, there's actually a link and you should get on my email list because if you do, you will get the headshot class at a much, much appreciated discount. Trust. My YouTube's pretty new. It's a pretty small following. So get on the email list and get your discount. <laughs> <laughs> Headshots are a very specific thing and a lot of us want to kind of jump the gun here and say, okay, well, I'm in class, so that means I should have a photo of a headshot. Yes, but do you understand yourself in the marketplace yet? I wouldn't spend a lot of money on headshots until you truly understand what your casting is at this moment in time and how you're trying to put yourself out there. If you just want to get a shot to post for a minute, to get some student films, that kind of a thing, I get that. But let's not get in a hurry to spend $1,000 on headshots because we want to make sure they're really 
good headshots. So slow your roll in this process. This is my problem, by the way, with the actor videos that exist on YouTube. They will tell you, get headshots, build your resume, start an acting class, and it's like, whoa, 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 we're completely out of order. We're gonna throw money at things like crazy. I want you to do this in a gentle time manner that is very cognizant of your energy and your time and your goddamn money. So while we are working on our acting skills, figuring out where we fit in this business, start researching headshots and start putting together your actor resume. If you guys go to my YouTube shorts, there is a resume how-to video exactly showing you what an actor resume looks like. The next thing that naturally comes up with this is, I need an actor reel. Yes, once again, slow the roll. We can't just throw together a reel to be like, this is what I look like on camera, because that's not what a reel is. An acting reel is proof of your incredible quality of acting. So just putting out a tape just to do it, whether it's filmed with some friends from a student film or whether it's a self-tape you did at home, hot tip, yes, you can put self-tapes online as reels these days, but you wanna do it with a lot of work behind it. These should be shining examples of your skills. We don't wanna just say, I'm an actor and like, look how I'm an actor. No, we're not proving to someone you're an actor. This is essentially handing someone your business card and being like, here's how amazing I am at my business. You see what I'm saying? You don't wanna put anything out there just to put it out there. So hold off on the reels just yet, and I promise you we will get there. If you're at it, seven out of 10 in your acting abilities, you feel like you got so much down, you're so ready, you got a pretty great headshot, great. Then we can talk about filming some great self tapes to add to your online portfolios. But if you're like, wait, what's an online portfolio? Slow your roll. We are doing this sustainably. And I know what you're thinking. She's about to tell me, now's when I join the actor websites and start submitting myself for auditions because I have everything you need. I'm actually gonna tell you something different. Mm, I'm gonna tell you to start your actor fund, to start saving up money because everything I just said, headshots, real, eventually getting on the acting platforms are going to cost a pretty penny. And I don't want you to do it until you can afford it. This job is very, very expensive and it doesn't pay you back for years if Ever, to be quite frank, because the expenses keep adding up. Classes are expensive, coaching, headshots, putting your reel together, uploading everything, joining all the casting sites, it gets very expensive. So along with building out your professional resources and getting really good at this job, I want you to start saving your money and building up your actor fund. There is no, this is enough money level of this. Keep saving money. If you can put a couple hundred bucks away and use that as your actor fund, great. If you can put a thousand dollars away, even better. Let this build and start to save money now because trust me, even if you're in the early stages, you are going to need this later. Which by the way, is why I want you to get good headshots so you don't waste money on shitty headshots just to have them and just have to go get them again. Do you see, do you see what I'm saying? Do you see why I don't want you to be in a hurry? <laughs> Now that we've talked about money a little bit, I would say consider checking out the casting websites. No matter where you are, Actors Access, if you are in the United States, will have postings in your market. Some of you might have to drive a little bit to get to where these bookings would be, but there are auditions on these websites for you. I would say Actors Access is the number one one, and if you are not ready to join yet, just start looking at what casts in your area. Number two would be Casting Network. This is the place where people get a lot of print work, a lot of commercial work, and they have a fair amount of background work listed on there as well. And then other ones that are often mentioned are websites like Backstage and Casting Frontier. I would say hold off on paying for those until you feel like you're really invested and have things on lock. But either way, you can still start to look at them. Look at what casts, look at what's required. I would say minimum investment to start for maximum results later when you have your actor package together. And by package, I mean acting abilities, headshot, resume, reel, okay? But we're slow rolling this because we're also adding a number five, your actor fund, all right? That is the slow roll of this process of how to start working as an actor in 2024. There's a couple things I didn't mention here. Agents and managers joining a union, moving your ass to Hollywood. <laughs> 
all of these things are big, big, epic decisions. And I actually don't think they should be something that you look at right away when you are just starting your actor career. This is the first in a series of videos about kickstarting this. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and stick around because we have a lot more to come. And if I didn't cover your question in this video, please drop it in the comments below and we will be sure to give you a nice detailed answer because we're trying to build this channel, y'all. Trying to get more content in here, more videos in here. So I wanna know what you wanna know. Let me be a resource for you. In the meantime, feel free to check out any of my previous videos, my podcast, One Broke Actress, my Instagram, One Broke Actress, my website, onebrokeactress.com. Oh my God, are you so sick of me yet? That's all for today. And I will talk to you guys very soon.